Hey guys, Juice here, and welcome to the beginning of the Sonic Adventure 2 Dark Story speedrunning tutorial. For this tutorial, we're going to be going through each level or boss bit by bit, video by video, and try to break down each one of these stages and bosses, and then show you how it looks at the end. When I first started speedrunning Dark Story, there weren't many tutorials or resources out there at all to really learn from outside of just watching people. I feel like there are a lot of people who are willing to help and overall we do have a really cool community. I'll leave a link to both my Discord and the Sonic Adventure 2 community Discord down in the description below. A lot of people can help, but there aren't many tools out there for you to learn at your own pace. So that's why I wanted to make this tutorial. Today we're going to be starting off with the first stage in Dark Story, Iron Gate. Which, this is going to go over some mech movement with Eggman, breaking down the level bit by bit, piece by piece. A couple different methods or techniques. Uh, without further ado, I guess let's get into it. Decide which stage to go to. So starting off right here, as we're coming down here, we're gonna start holding an angle that's like down and left, like this. And that's gonna help us run, starting right away. So right away, as soon as you fall through, you're going to want to be holding this. While you're holding this and you're going through this hallway, you're going to start adjusting it, as you can see by my input display in the top right. So you saw I started bringing it more towards the left and then facing forward. As you're doing this, you can hold the shoot button as well, which is B. Like this. Once you come around here, you can just shoot all of these enemies. Now, when it comes to these doors, there are going to be some that are far enough ahead of you where you don't have to worry about doing this because you're just going to shoot all of them. Though for this one, what you're going to do is you're going to shoot a couple of the bombs, and then once you do, you let go of the shoot button. You let go of the B button, start moving forward, jumping, and hit the other two like this. And that's going to help your momentum completely because otherwise you just get stuck in the door running forward because the, all four of the bombs wouldn't have hit them yet so for this part right here all we're going to do is we're going to run through the checkpoint you can start pressing the b button you can take down a couple enemies but pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to swerve in between them like this just like that you don't want to be spamming it mindlessly otherwise you're going to get the ore where when, you know when eggman is close to an enemy and he starts punching it. Uh, but right here, well, all we do is as we're going up this elevator, once we're at this point, we can jump up and then start shooting. Basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to aim for the middle boxes and just hold forward, try to get in between them. A lot of the times you're going to end up going to the right a little bit or to the left a little bit, depending on the angle that you're holding. Um, but overall, if you can take down two to four boxes here as you're going forward, you shouldn't get stuck. Just like that. Now, usually you wouldn't get caught on the elevator and jump twice, but I think you understand the point. At the end, I'm going to demonstrate how the level looks all together so you don't have to worry about all these little mishaps. As we're coming down here, you're just going to hold forward, shoot these guys, continue shooting ahead of time, do the same thing with this door as you did before. Okay, so here we go. You can hear these sirens. Keep these sirens in mind because we're going to need them when we get down to the bottom of the elevator. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to do something called a ring route, which is pretty essential to doing the stage fast. While it's not necessary, necessary, I'm going to show it to you anyway. So we're going to hit this elevator, come back here. And then we're going to hit these two ring boxes. This should give you 15 rings. Then we can kind of just jump through here, no problem. Make sure you're paying attention to your ring count, too. As you're coming down here, you can shoot the doors off of this elevator. Okay. So, after you do that, you, you're going to shoot the ele I mean, you're going to shoot the door here. It's going to explode. You're going to hear the siren stop. A little bit after you hear the siren stop, we're just going to run and jump forward. The suspension bridge is going to come up underneath us. That way, we save time. We don't have to let it come out before we start moving. Now, if you're not comfortable with doing this... That's fine, but it's, um, because if you jump too early, then you could just jump into the void. Like that. That's not what we want to do. <laughs> I 
just like that. That's what you want to do. You want to jump as the suspension bridge is coming through. And now at this point, this is one of these doors that I was talking about earlier where you can kind of just spam the gun button and you're going to blow up everything because it's a far enough distance away. Uh, so we're going to do that. Also, in the room coming up, there are a bunch of ring boxes. So we can target them beforehand and, and just shoot them by holding the B button and letting go. Hold a slight angle here, as you see in my input display, to get around here without losing any momentum. Start holding B right here because we have one of these doors. And now, when you're coming through here, you can head towards the right, jump here. Jumping through these corners right here will kind of help you maintain your momentum going through. Make sure you hit all those ring boxes, but not these two. Don't hit those two. Okay, so this is where the ring route thing that I was talking about earlier comes into play. We're going to blow up this door, go th get away from here, and there's actually a, a ring box right here. So we're going to hit this. 120, remember that. Remember that 120. So basically what happens now is 22 to 23 seconds after hitting that, after going on that elevator, we're going to go through this checkpoint. This checkpoint is now going to give us speed shoes. Now, once we jump down here, once we go through, we just jump, shoot, start taking down this elevator, keep shooting through these boxes, through this door, sneak by this one because we're fast enough, shoot this down, shoot these three enemies. Now, in this room right here, we're here, we want to do this, come back here, and then jump this way to reset the camera and blow up the door. From here, you can continue spamming the gun button to start shooting down those enemies. We don't really want them in the uh, in the way. They're kind of a pain in the ass when it comes to making sure that we're going to target this rocket coming up. Running to where I did just now activates that cutscene. You cannot activate the rocket until you run forward. So from here, there are actually a couple of different methods of hitting this rocket. I'll show you a couple of them. So from here, you can hold B, and right there, I targeted it. Just being at this angle, this targeted it. I'm not going to shoot it right away, because I want to show you the other way. The other way that's a little bit more consistent is just to come back here, jump up, and target it like that. But I'll show you the other way again, since I was just in this area. There we go. Now, once you're here, you see this rocket going, you can start holding forward when you see that. You're going to want to stay towards the middle. You're staying towards the middle so that you can hit all of the speed pads, because they're kind they kind of deviate from the left and the right, so I'll show you. See that one that was on the right that I kind of missed? You should usually be able to hit that. Just like that, because Eggman's feet are big enough. And then after that, there's the end of the level right there. You did it. So I guess now I'll go through it all together.
and there we go. That's what the level looks like all together. Now, there are a couple other methods of doing the ring route, but I do believe that's the most optimal. And there's no, like, the other methods aren't easier anyway, so they're not really worth telling you about. If you do want to do a different one, you could just watch different runners. To do that without ring route, it's pretty easy. You just take the elevators normally. You don't really have to worry about anything. But yeah, guys, that's Iron Gate. If you do have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like I said at the beginning of this video, you could just go to the description to check out the Sonic Adventure 2 Community Discord or my own Discord for further discussion. If you liked it, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. If not, the dislike. Hit that sub button. I really appreciate it. I'm putting a lot of work into these tutorials. And I guess I will see you guys next time when we cover Hotshot. But until then, sayonara!